Incomplete teachers' houses and classrooms given insight into the crisis facing Morata Primary School. The school has been left high and dry by contractors who failed to complete these projects. The six teachers' houses was a commitment made by NCD Governor Poes Pakop. However, the project remains incomplete with the contractor nowhere to be found. And Governor has made a commitment to put up his uh, six teachers' house. He's still idle there, standing there, very tall, out in the tall grass there. Still, Governor has to come. We are still praying for him to when he's going to come. He has to come. He has to let, let us know. Up till now, up till now, there's no such a, a projects going in there. Much of the school's infrastructure was built in the 1980s. The only development was a double classroom built in 2002. The school board claimed three contractors have recently submitted claims to the education department for funding of a new double classroom. Headmaster Philip Tiki has warned the Secretary for Education, Dr. Michael Tapo, not to entertain these claims as there is no justification. Neil, that's why we had a rumors uh, somebody from the Pinto office rang us on a the list. There was about three. Three contractors belong to different companies and put their claims in here, telling us that there's a claim in here. But there's nothing happening here. Student numbers have also increased to 17,000 this year, with a teacher-student ratio of one teacher to 70 students. Tiki says the double classroom claimed to be built by contractors would have solved this problem. However, there is nothing on the ground. The school has 29 teachers, of which only one resides on the school premises. The staff houses, if completed, could have saved the life of one of their teachers killed last year. Tiki describes this as corruption and wants immediate investigations carried out by relevant government agencies. Mickey Cavera, National MTV News.